We find ourselves in a voting center in Quito, where citizens have been casting their votes since 7 a.m. Just like here, more than 13.6 million Ecuadorians all over the country are expected to cast their vote and express their opinion on the 11 key questions in the national referendum proposed by President Daniel Novoa. Most of the questions are related to security, an urgent issue in Ecuador. The country has faced a crisis with around 8,000 violent deaths in 2023, the highest homicide rating in Latin America. The consultation seeks to strengthen the role of military in combating organized crime and increasing penalties for serious crimes. But not everything revolves around security. There are also questions on labor flexibility, such as hourly contracts and international arbitration for investments and commercial matters, generating debate in the Ecuadorian society. President Novoa, initially popular, faces challenges. The assault on the Mexican embassy in Quito and the energy crisis have impacted his image. Certainly, this referendum will not only determine significant changes in Ecuadorian politics, but will also influence the political future of Daniel Loboa, as a new presidential election will take place in 2025. The president of the National Electoral Council, Diana Tamaint, has confirmed that the initial results are expected to be available later on Sunday. Stay tuned for further updates. Reporting from Quito, Ecuador, this is Nicolas Suarez for CGTN.